Hi, it's Ursula Smith from EasyScraps.com. I'm doing a follow-up video to one that I had done earlier where I embossed craft glassine using a paper shape. And if you remember the paper shape, we cut it out of three pieces of cardstock that we sandwiched together. We kind of taped it together to keep it as a single unit. And then we embossed using the Sizzix Big Shot machine. Well, today I'm going to do something similar, but I'm going to use the AccuCut Grand Mark machine. And if you're lucky enough to have one of these machines, you know how great it is. Uh, we're going to use the Grand Mark machine, and then we're going to use an insert that AccuCut sells. I don't know if you can see that. It's a big old piece of, I don't know, some kind of plastic material. It's actually made to help you cut thinner dies on the AccuCut machine. But I'm going to show you how to emboss with it. So sit back, enjoy, and I hope you learn something. So we're back, and I've now put the insert into the AccuCut tray, and we're going to again make a sandwich. Now what I've done is cut a big shape, and one of the best things about the AccuCut machine is you can cut these big, huge um, shapes, even 12 inch by 12 inch and larger. So I've cut a big shape out of chipboard, black chipboard is actually made usually to do kind of book covers and things like that. But I just cut a shape out of it and now I'm going to emboss with it using this tray. So I'm going to place the shape on top of the tray and then I'm going to cover it with a piece of cardstock. This cardstock that I'm using is actually pretty neat. It's coordinations and they now come in the colors of the Distress Inks by Tim Holtz which is fab. So I'm going to cover, and actually the best thing about this paper, just let me talk about the paper for a little bit. Um, the paper is this kind of maroonish color, but if you can see the strip on the bottom, it's a lighter shade of the color. And what happens is when you sand the, the darker color cardstock, the lighter shows through. So it's a really neat two-tone look and looks great with this paper shape embossing. So I'm going to cover my paper shape, or my chipboard shape, actually, in this instance, with my cardstock. And then I always need kind of a rubber um, surface to let the shape underneath press into. And in this case, AccuCut doesn't sell an embossing mat, but Wizard, for their Spellbinder series, does. And it's this big, huge 12-inch by 12-inch mat that we actually carry on EasyScraps.com and I'm going to cover the cardboard with the mat and then I'm going to cover the entire thing with a cutting mat. Sometimes you might need to shim. In this case I think we'll be all set. But I'm going to cover it with the cutting mat and then I'm going to run the entire sandwich through the AccuCut machine. Usually you only have to do it once but I'm going to roll it back through so you can see the results. And then when I lift the entire sandwich, I don't know if you can see, it's really hard to see embossing on dark color. There's the deboss, there's the emboss image. But now the cool thing with this paper, this cardstock, is I can come ahead with a sanding block and sand over the embossed image and it will take it back to that lighter shade. I'm going to do the whole thing because this is a big image. And now you can really see that embossing show up. So this opens up a whole lot of opportunity for you to make your own 12 inch by 12 inch embossed paper. You could even use smaller shapes and just kind of spread them out and again, you would make the same sandwich where you would cover it with the cardstock, then the rubber mat, and then the cutting mat, run the whole thing through, and you have 12-inch embossed paper. So thanks for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time. Hi, it's me again. I just wanted to show you the um, results of the paper shape embossing on the 12-inch by 12-inch cardstock, and when it's been fully sanded. So you can see now the embossing shape is really showing up. I went over the whole thing with a sanding block. And just to show you, you know, how I might start trying to finish it. Just a shape in the middle and a picture. And I've got the start of a great scrapbook page. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.